tomato all-purpose starter fertilizer. There seems to be one for every occasion. Seriously, but it doesn't have to be difficult. We're here at H&H &H Nursery in Lakewood, California, and today we're going to settle the great fertilizer debate. What is fertilizer? Why do plants need it? And which one is right for your garden? All that and more. We better get started. Let's go. Behold, the great wall of fertilizer. Here's the deal. What we do with fertilizers is we don't feed the soil, we feed the plants because like people, we all need food. And the great thing about these fertilizers is you can also make them into a fertilizer tea, which is great for container gardeners as well, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So what fertilizer do I need? Which one should I use? And exactly for what plant? Because we have so many to choose from. So. Well, let's grab a few and, and check them out. Let's do it. We are going to demystify the great fertilizer debate. Yeah, hopefully make things a little less scary. So what's the first thing I need to look for in a fertilizer? Well, on the front of any fertilizer bag are three numbers, and they stand for NPK. That's right, NPK. N is for nitrogen, and that helps for green leafy growth. Uh, P is for phosphorus, and that helps to develop a healthy root system. And potassium uh, is for uh, flower and to help develop fruit. Yeah, and um, the numbers can be in any combination. So this one, they're all the same, and that means that it's a balanced fertilizer. And this one is good for outdoor and indoor use. That's a really great point, too, because you don't want to use something like a fish emulsion in indoor containers. That could really funk up the house. So like you mentioned, ideal for indoor and outdoor containers. That is a great tip. Yeah, no scent in that one. What should people look for in a fertilizer brand in general? A good thing to look for is this little Omri sticker. Mm -hmm. It's actually um, a, a very rigorous process to get Omri certified. So rest assured, when you see this sticker, you are buying a certified organic product. Well, that's always good, especially with fruits and vegetables. That's something you're going to eat. You mentioned something about uh, tea. Yeah, you know, in container gardens, it's a lot easier to water with a liquid fertilizer because you don't want to be digging around in there and damaging the roots. So uh, an easy thing to do is to make a tea out of fertilizer, and you just do that by mixing a small amount of the fertilizer in with some water, and you let it sit for a while, and then you can just put it right into your watering can. So let's talk about some of the differences between these fertilizers. Yeah, different plants need different uh, combinations of NPK. So this one is formulated for acid-loving plants, flowering plants, and it's a great thing to use because a lot of times the water that you get out of your hose or your faucet is a little bit on the alkaline side, and you really need to pay attention to keep your acid-loving plants happy. Starter is really good if you are starting with transplants, and a lot of us do. When you take that seedling out of its six-pack, you are shocking the root system. So starter actually helps the transplanting process, uh, helps that seedling get off on the right root. Tomato fertilizer is what you'd expect. It's for tomatoes, but you can also use it for other soft fruits like strawberries. And basically what it helps the plant do is put out a lot of flowers and develop healthy fruits. And flowers are important. Right. A lot of people forget that fruit come from flowers, so you need flowers first. So that was Fertilizer 101. Expert yet? Well, if not, visit your local independent nursery. They have very knowledgeable employees willing and happy to help.